Hello everybody. <laughs> I don't know why I started the video like that. Um, okay, so um, I've just watched the last video on my YouTube channel and oh my god, it was when we were still in the boatyard. Um, yeah, so that was about a year and a half ago. Obviously we're still on the boat now. Um, it is evening time, so it's a bit gloomy. It's actually pretty cosy. Um, anyway, I thought I'd um, give you guys a little um, show, a little tour, um, just to uh, show what we've been doing. Christ, the boat was empty the last video, so let's get on with it, shall we? I'm going to take you straight to the bath bedroom, um, probably because of the part of the boat that we've done least on. Oh, by the way, I'm on my phone, not my ca uh, video camera, so, um, yeah, I apologise if it's a bit shaky. Um, I wanted to give it a go. So, enough of looking at my face. This is the bedroom. Oh, it's a bit of a crap hole, isn't it? I shouldn't really um, put this online. <laughs> my other half is going to... Uh, have a little fit at me, but never mind. Um, so this is the room with the least amount done to it. Um, we've got some materials that have been sitting around for the past year. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we have a chest of drawers, bed with storage underneath it. Um, it's literally just been sat here, really. Um, the only thing that I've actually done to it is that, which is very over complicated looking thing with a um, expansion vessel is it expansion tank no it's not expansion tank it's a accumulator okay <laughs> um, so uh, obviously you can see all the lining and stuff like that that's not changed you know it's it's, 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 it's livable um, this is probably the last room that we are going to do um, but yeah, Ooh. this is a funny thing about boats, everything sort of comes apart <laughs> when the wood expands and retracts and stuff. Um, so, let's have a look at the bathroom. So this has changed a little bit. This is probably the closest room to being done that we have. Um, obviously that's our, that's our beautiful tiling job. Um, for the bathroom, that's obviously a door that's I've just kind of wedged that in there because I don't have where else to put it and the hinges were shit for it um, so yeah this is obviously it's not quite finished but that's the um, sliding door which works okay um, what else can I say so obviously all that's boxed in the piping around there is boxed in um, it's all the sort of like, you know, just kind of really basic cabinet kind of stuff. It's all still still rough and ready. It needs to uh, be um, sanded down and painted. So the tiling is not quite finished either, really. Um, so there's room going up there. Oh, hello. Um, yeah. Toilet. I might do a video on boating toilets. Let me know if you want to know about boating toilets. So I think um, after a year and a half of being on a boat, I've got something I could probably say about boating toilets. Um, so, keep going, going, going. Oh, this is probably something cool to show you. So, that is our shelves, bookshelves. Um, quite proud of this, actually. So, the mate, uh, it's all held up with copper pipes and it is really wonky um i wouldn't really call it reclaimed timber it was very rough um unsuitable for um working with type um oak um so they're all held together see this is what happens when you get a metal worker to do uh, woodwork um they're all held up together with, um, <laughs> um, I think it's six mil thick bronze plate. I've stuck in there. Is it bronze? It might be copper. 
I can't remember, uh, with brass screws in. Um, but, you know, it's really solid and holds it in there. Um, yeah, it's probably, probably that is a thing to go over these portholes to, you know. Finding um, curtains and things like that, or blinds to go over portholes, yeah, it's not that easy. So, uh, right, let's have a little look in there. Oh my God, look at this tit hip. So this is obviously where all of the crap accumulates. All of my tools, everything we're working on in the boat, um, kind of lives in here. This is probably actually, so this is the spare room. Obviously it's got my old desk from the old flat in there. Um, a computer that has never actually been set up. Um, loads of materials in there. Um, you just need a place to stick all this crap. Um, yeah, so underneath there is the poop tank. I think if you saw the last video, you you probably get the picture. It's kind of hidden underneath there. Um, it is actually kind of carcassed in. I don't know if that's the right word. Um, basically, it's it's all it's all got framework over it, and it's just ready have to have. Um, uh, I don't know cladding of some description put over the top of it um, and we're gonna have that as a as a pull out double bed um, right at the end there just above the porthole that's the poop sucker upper yes I have to suck the poop out of the tank through the roof don't know why they did it that way but you know um, what else yeah tools 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 scrap materials um, Coats. Mm. Yeah. Right. So, let's have a little look. This is the main living space. See, there's the fire down there. House plant. That's Mr. Cheese. Um, where should we start? Let's have a look. We we'll probably start on the flooring. I don't know how well this, this camera is picking that up. Um, so the flooring is. Um, bamboo. It's bamboo flooring. Um, you know, very um, good for. Let's say good for nature. That's not very good for. Uh, <laughs> that's not very good English, is it? Um, so, it is. What's the fucking word? Pause. Renewable. Renewable. Let's turn the light on because obviously I don't think you can actually see anything. It's highly renewable, apparently. Don't quote me on that because I'm probably wrong. Um, and it is, um, it looks nice now, but it is shit. <laughs> it scratches so easily. It's supposed to be like a hardwood type quality, um, and it does scratch like too easily. I mean, you could probably. I just move that out of the way. Can you see that? A nice big scratch across the floor there. Yeah, that wasn't supposed to do that. Um, well, all the furniture has like um, soft pads underneath it as well. So, uh, so that is my record player, and you know some other bits and pieces. That's the. Um, Thing out yeah, the old flat um, coffee table. Obviously, we just use that thing. Um, but yeah, so that, this is the fireplace. This is pretty much the pride and joy of the boat. Um, that's a hundred kilos of fire. Obviously, chooching nice and warm now. Um, with double insulated flue. That's actually sort of like a household standard fire. I think it's about eight kilowatt something like that convection. Um, so yeah, it chooches out a hell of a lot in it. Really, you didn't hear that. Uh, yeah, it, it can heat up the boat pretty damn quick. Uh, probably takes, if you hit it really hard straight away, it'll probably take you about 40 minutes to get the heat all the way down the boat. Um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Um, see, that's where it goes out through the roof. Um, those black things over the windows are like a blackout blinds so that we don't get, uh, Peeping Toms, um, 
yeah, what else next? Uh, so far, so far, I've realised that the in the video um, that I've got up con currently, uh, the sofa is underneath a thra uh, uh, dust sheet, and you can't actually see it. And now it's underneath throws, so you still can't see it. Um, I I like throws, but I don't really understand the point of them. Um, since yes, it protects the sofas, makes them last longer, but then you don't actually see the sofa underneath them. Um, so yeah, not really, not really hundred percent sure on that. It's a nice colour though, it's a nice orange. Um, so let's go into the kitchen. Uh, oh, I can hear. You can hear noises in the background. That's um, there's a generator outside, and there is the heating. <laughs> It's just diesel fired. So obviously the cabinets uh, start over here, shall we? So we have an oven. This is um, LPG. We've got LPG gas bottles out of the back, same as the hob. Um, obviously storage up above. Uh, these are my nice steps that I built to replace those horrible things that actually um, lasted probably. Uh, Took me about a year to get rid of them. So there's storage underneath, which seems to be stuck. So storage under there, storage under there. Boating related stuff. There will be a big pull out drawer at the bottom eventually. Obviously, we don't have any cabinet doors yet. Um, so it, it looks, you know, I think it will absolutely transform this room when those uh, doors are on. Um, yeah, we've got 12 volt fridge. Um, so underneath there's all the electric stuff. Um, there's more electric stuff up there. We will have solar panels eventually. Um, I want to put those in before the summer. Um, for obvious reasons, summer, sunshine, free electricity. Yeah. So, uh, as Mr. Dragon Plant, um, I don't know what else there is to go. Um, obviously, I've made these blinds here. Um, I made these out of like um, IKEA, uh, not IKEA, uh, B and Q sort of like really basic bamboo blinds. Um, they were roller blinds, but I turned them into Venetian blinds with a bit of um, you know trickery. Um, what else can I show you? Obviously, there's a lot of knitting stuff there. Uh, that space down there will be for a um, washing machine. Um, when we get a washing machine. What else can I show you? We've had some friends come in and be like, so you don't have a TV? I'm like, mm, no. And they say, well, where do you point all your furniture? What do you think we point it at? The laptop. Duh. Netflix. Hmm. Amazon Prime. Yes. <laughs> That's not why I'm saying it like that. Uh, is there anything? Ooh, what are we doing? 15 minutes. So I might call it quits there. Um, if there's anything else specifically that you would want me to um, make a video on. Um, yeah, ask. Right, this is getting a bit weird. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, I also want to say thank you for the people that actually kind of like stuck along. Um, I've, I went, I have been uh, radio silent on social media for a good long while and I might actually make a video about that um, I think that'd be probably be quite a good idea and yes so thanks for people who stuck around um, I think I've just gone over 800 subscribers so um, I'm pretty, quite pretty pleased about that since I haven't made a video in like donkey's years um, you guys throw some ideas at me um, with what you want and I will see uh, what I can come up with. 
All right, well, thank you very much, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye.